back seat custom made tweeter panel you know all this stuff right here was built in my backyard with all the tools I am gonna show you guys right now you know very nice beautiful you know stuff right now. YouTube was good. Welcome back for another video. Um, man, I hope all you guys are doing good today. Today it is Thursday. Um, we're still on the first week of the, the new year. I hope everything's going good for you guys according to plan, how you guys want it to be. I know we, you know, steadily grinding. We're just trying to take that next step in life. And I'm here trying to, you know, give you guys more input on this car audio stuff. So hopefully you guys can start building some stuff at your crib, at the shop that you're working on wherever you're at you know to take that next step um so you guys can start building some more stuff stepping up the game on your guys and all that stuff i'm not saying that i'm the greatest car audio installer in the world but i have worked around the best you know that i feel are the best you know um we built some crazy shit when i used to work at the other car shop so shout out to mad marks at that car shop i used to work at you know i learned a lot from a lot of those guys and so I am feeding a lot of that knowledge onto you guys this time, you know, because we didn't have YouTube back in the day when I was doing car, when I first started doing car audio and I wish I would have got some help. So I learned a lot and I'm here trying to feed you guys as much knowledge as possible so you guys can go ahead and build some loud stuff in your backyard. You know what I'm saying? But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on and stay tuned for all the videos. Um, whenever they, they drop, you know, I am going to start to try to start dropping videos every other day for you guys um, We are sitting at like 660 subscribers man. Come on. Let's get to that 1k man, you know And let's just you know hit that like button on this video, you know I think my average like is probably like 10 likes maybe 15 likes man If we could get at least like mm, like 20 30 likes on this video man, that'd be badass um, Don't forget. I got that 1k uh, subscriber giveaway. I'm trying to give away some car audio product uh, a lot of people wanted to get that doubled in so we we're trying to get that done for you guys so man as long as you guys keep watching the videos hit that subscribe button man we're gonna get that video out to one of you guys for today's video i am gonna go ahead and show you guys all the tools you need to build some crazy shit like this all the stuff that's done in my truck man it's been built in my backyard Look, these door panels See this back door panel, fiberglass painted, looks very beautiful. You know, no wave marks, none of that stuff, man. Look nice. You know, it's a little dirty. The truck's a little dirty, don't mind it, but look, you know, back seat custom made, tweeter panel. You know, all this stuff right here was built in my backyard with all the tools I am gonna show you guys right now. You know, very nice, beautiful, you know, stuff like that. Very nice and flat. When you're you know, all this stuff was built here in my backyard. You know, I got 412s in the back, kicker CBRs, you know, selenium tweeters. Uh, it's a fourth order uh, bandpass box, you know, built, designed by me. You know, by with all the tools I'm gonna show you guys right now, what you guys gotta use in order to build some stuff like this. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. You know, comment down below, let, let me know what you guys think of this setup. Let me know what you guys think of the nitrous bottle on the back, of the design, everything. I designed everything, man. I'm telling you, man, we built nothing but badass shit here. Yeah. So, all this stuff can be built in your backyard if you got all the right tools. You don't need nothing too crazy. Just a few good little, little tools here and there, and you'll build some, some nice stuff like that. 
door panels, man. All built here in the backyard, look. You see that backyard right there? We built all that right there in that backyard. All right, so let's get started real quick. All these tools that you're seeing right here, I probably got some tools that I missed out, but for a majority, these are the tools that you're gonna need in order to do some car audio woodworking in your backyard. You know what I'm saying? Um, we'll start real quick with compressor. We got the little small pancake compressor and we got the bigger compressor. Um, man, I built some loud ass systems with this guy right here. I've had this thing for almost like 10 years to be honest with you. Um, that thing right there, you know, I just had it for a little bit, but it, it does the tricks. This one right here works my DA, which is this guy right here. Um, it powers up my uh, stapler uh, for the um, whenever I put the box together, my upholstery stapler. Um, I use the little pancake when I just want to use the upholstery stapler because I can, you know, lower the pressure a little bit more so it don't blast and break stuff. But a compressor is always a must. You know, always make sure you got yourself a good compressor with good horsepower so that thing never fails you. Okay, then to start off, you're going to need a notebook, obviously, because you're going to want to jot down your box design. Um, you're going to need some pencils. Always have a lot of pencils on deck because, you know, you're going to lose one of them along the way. Uh, have a little marker because you're probably going to have to make side notes separate from pencil notes. Obviously, you're going to need a calculator because you're going to need to figure out some math, um, your formulas and everything, and your uh, cut list. To do all that, you're going to need a tape measure. You know, always have at least like two or three tape measures because you're always going to misplace these guys everywhere. I do it all the time, so don't feel bad. Um, right angles, you know, it's good for whenever... You know, you want to make small straight lines, you know, marks and all kinds of stuff. A level is always good to have. You can use a bigger one or a small one. This one has magnets on it. So sometimes, you know, um, if you're trying to figure out an, uh, a measurement in the car, you know, hook it to the magnet and then measure on it and you'd be, you know, happy with that. Then you're going to need staple wings. You know, this one shoots uh, the, the crowns. Man, this... This staple gun right here, man, I built a lot of loud shit with this thing. Um, your upholstery stapler, you may have to, you know, staple, you know, something lower than, you know, quarter inch thick, you know, um, together to build something or a small, like, false panel or something. I mean, this one goes a long way, so always have a good stapler. Um, make sure you always got yourself a good drill. Um, this one has the, the quick lock one for the chuck right there for the quarter inch, uh, like um, bits and stuff like that. This is a good hammer drill, you know. It's good to have because, man, that thing will torque and get some stuff done. This one has the the chuck where you gotta hold it and it'll adjust, you know what I'm saying? Like this one's always good to have. Um, routers, you know, this one right here, you can uh, router out pieces, do all kinds of stuff. Um, cut pieces of wood if you really gotta do all that stuff with it. You know, that's the flush routing bit, so. Um, you can make identical pieces. This one's always good to have. Um, always have a smaller router because you may need to round over some stuff, um, make stuff look pretty, make braces, make those look pretty. Um, if you're doing panels, you know, all kinds of stuff. This router is always good to have a nice palm size one. I always tend to have a lot of Craftsman stuff for that stuff, like my compressor's Craftsman, uh, my router's Craftsman, and my table saw, which I'll show you in a little bit. It is Craftsman. Um, Router bits, man. You're always going to have to have all kinds of different router bits because you're going to do all kinds of stuff. Um, this is the round over bit that I use a lot for fiberglass to do the lip on it so I can staple fleece on it. Um, real good to have. I mean, it always works to charm. And sometimes you will need to router a lot of your box pieces so they're nice and smooth. Or if, uh, you know, you got to cut a little piece off or router it out so it'll tuck nice and neat in a corner or, you know, anything you need. Um, so like router bits are always good to have. This one I like to use if I make small braces. Um, you know, round them over and make them look pretty. This one right here gives it a nice like angle contour router uh, finish. You know, it looks good when you're doing like flush panels. Um, I used this on when I was building a truck box. I had an, a little bit extra hanging off and I went ahead and did this one I adjusted it right and I ran the router right through it man and it and it made that truck um, angle look perfect man it, I, I love this one real quick I'm um, just another round over bit you know I always tend to have a good a little different amounts 
Um, always have different types of bits, you know, in case you need to drill a hole to run a speaker wire, um, pre-drill, you know, anything, always good to have different bits. I always have the, the quarter inch uh, quick connects, you know, because, you know, you got to upgrade, have good ones. Um, counter sinks, you know, you always want your screws to look nice and flush. Don't let them be exposed, so counter sinks are always good. I have this counter sink, and let me see if I have my other counter sink. Um, it's somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I have, like, this one. I'll pre-drill with, with this one, and then I'll come back and run the counter sink on it so it looks really good. Um, jigsaw blades. I don't think I have any wood ones because I used them the last time I built the box, but these are metal ones because you may need to cut some metal if you're building a custom box. But, you know, um, fine wood... Uh, Jigsaw blades are always good to have, man, because you always want a nice, good, clean cut, especially if you're doing uh, speaker hole cutouts. You know, even though you'll never see that hole, you know, it'll make you feel good that your speaker hole cutout looks really badass. A grinder. Uh, some staples probably be overhanging sometimes, or you need to grind that extra little corner so it'll fit inside um, a corner of a car or somewhere you're placing that box. So it's always good to have a ground grinder because, you know, it comes in handy. Um, an air blower is always a must because you're going to get sawdust everywhere. Um, so it's always good to keep your area clean and yourself clean. Um, so a blower is always ideal to have. Another router bit. This is a reverse flush mount. So um, if you're trying to get the flush of the top wood, it'll cut the bottom piece out perfect because it'll run um, that what's that called bearing will run through the top piece of the wood and, and that blade right there will cut the bottom one so the bottom piece of wood will look like the top one um, this uh, Dremel right here with the metal on it um, it's always good to have because um, if you cut your speaker hole out it's always good to you know round it out make it look nice and neat air saw you never know you'll probably have to cut a screw a piece of metal of the car that you're working on um, or just those tough areas where the jigsaw can't get in. Um, the air saw is always good to have. Um, building the box, uh, you know, you can use the glue. I always use glue when you put the box together. I always like to put the glue to join the pieces together. Then once I, uh, you know, staple them together, I come back with the liquid nails and I put a bead on it. Once that dries up, I come back and I seal it up with uh, regular caulking, silicone caulking, so I know no air escapes at all, you know. This is going to be your eraser on a piece of wood, if you want to use it, because you're going to want to jot down things on the piece of wood, and this is quick so you can erase it and then re-jot it again, you know. Um, just a quick little thing that I do. Drywall screws is always a must. You know, some people build boxes with drywall screws. I like to build my boxes with staples, but drywall screws is always good to have any size. These are two inch ones, but I always use either like the inch and a quarter or inch and five eighths. Um, right angles, like I said again, you probably have to make straight lines or something. They do make bigger ones. I do have bigger ones, but I don't know where they're at. Right angles always good to have. Um, Let's see, Jigsaw, my Ryobi. Man, this thing was like 30 bucks, man, but this guy right here puts in some serious work. Serious work. You know, there's one of the Jigsaw blades with the bigger teeth on it for wood. And man, this thing right here never lets me down. Um, the DA, you, whenever you uh, put the, the pieces together a box, it's always good to come back with the DA, sand it out so it has like a nice smooth finish, so it always looks very professional. Um, these are the staples that I use so you can use these bigger ones um, these are just like a these are a inch and a quarter staples with the crown quarter inch crowns um, these are good to put the box together I use these right here to put braces together or if I'm just doing a half inch um, thick box um, I always use these because the glue always holds it good in place and with the liquid nails too. The quarter inch crowns, man, these are always the best thing to go. Um, clamps are always good to have because if you're routering something out, you're stapling something, you know, it's always good to like have them. Clamp them down and it'll hold the piece in place and then you can come back with your staple gun, staple it, sand it, 
draw whatever you got to do so clamps are always good to have on deck whenever you do um, box building this one if you want to hold the pieces together draw a line whatever um, always have a set of pliers or you know ratcheting wrenches because you are going to need to take out the router bits out or take fittings out you know because anything could always happen while you're building a box in the custom car audio world anything will happen you know so you got to be prepared so you have everything on deck so you don't waste no time building boxes because time is money the faster you get a box done if you're charging someone the faster you're going to get paid and then you can go on to the next one um, i always have a little speaker on deck because i like to listen to music whenever i'm building you know my box or building panels or whatever it gets me right in the mood um, and we get that shit done. So a good little speaker is always good to have. That JBL is pretty loud. I always have my uh, vacuum on deck because I don't like that sawdust everywhere. So I always like vacuum here and there. Um, get the sawdust out the way. Um, a good clean work area, man. It'll it'll take you a long ways, man. You know, I've learned that the hard way. You know, I've worked been messy, but nowadays I tend to be clean. Um, and like I said, like I like clean work areas man I just can't stand where it's just a mess everywhere um, extension cords you know I got my, my big guys right here extension cords are always a must so it's always good to have like a few um, you're gonna need like the outlets like a surge protector like this guy right here because you know you got different types of stuff going in I always plug the compressor into the bigger one and run everything else separate so I don't blow no breakers while I'm working on the um, my stuff Okay, we're walking to the backyard, man. This is where all the magic happens. Right here in this area, man, that's where I built all my truck at, man. You know, I love working back here in the backyard. Um, the sun is a little heavy out there, but that's why I always have the tent. You know, my tent always comes through, man. You know, it keeps me from getting sunburnt. Um, and, and I just vibe back here. Always have a lot of tables on deck because I use this table. I'll put the chop saw here. Uh, my black table right there. I lay all the tools on there, so I need to grab them. Um, I had that other table where it's where all the tools were. I actually that's the one I use to lay the tools on, like I, right here, and then that's the one that I'll build the box on. So you know it's already fucked up. So I don't even care if I get glue or drill through it or whatever. But the other one still looks somewhat nice. So I just put the tools on there, and you know I, I always get it done. All right, correction. So my table saw is actually a portal cable. But I do got a Craftsman in uh, my van, in my dad's van. Um, but that one I use it just to cut like small pieces if I'm doing fiberglass and stuff. But this is the one that I actually build the boxes on. Um, I put a different blade on it, a nice fine cut blade. So all my cuts are very nice. You know, my guard, you always have a guard on deck. What you guys think about all these tools, man? I just explained, or maybe I went too fast explaining a lot of stuff, man. You know, like I said, never be scared to leave a comment. Um, any questions you know about any of the tools any box building tips any formulas anything man i'm here to serve you guys um that's what this page is for to you know teach you guys about car audio um i'm not a teacher nor i'm the best but i do have a little bit of baby knowledge look when we get to like 5,000 subscribers i'll go ahead and i'll even cut the bed of my truck and you know i'm a big jl guy and I'll put like 610 JLW7s in this thing with like two, 3,000 watt mats, amps, you know, and I'll build 10s on the door panels, man, and I'll do like a whole tailgate thing in the back, man. So when we get to 5,000 subscribers, man, I will, you know, make videos of the whole fucking build, man, cut the fucking bed, put that tunnel cover in it, fill this whole bed up with fucking speakers in it, doors with 10s on it, eights, speakers all underneath it. Oh, man, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when once once we get to 5,000 subscribers, I will cut the bed of my truck, man. So subscribe to the fucking channel, and let's get up there so we can drop the, this this serious bang on here, man. We'll make these doors rip apart with them 610s, and man, we'll see what's good. But thanks again for tuning in to today's video. Smash that that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, um, to so you can like the video. Um, turn that notification bell on to stay tuned to all the videos that are dropping and man, you know, I'll catch you guys on the flip side, man. Peace.